In this lesson, we are going to create list of categories in the order screen. At the end of this lesson, you have a screen like this. It shows the logo of food delivery service and also it shows list of categories to the user. This data is coming from backend and it just shows them like a button that user can click on them. Let's implement this section together. Here is the plan to create list of categories. First of all, we need to create order screen. Inside SRC screens, right click new file and set file name to order screen.js. And here type RFC tab to create a React functional component. What we're gonna do here is to list categories in the left side. So in the return section, what I'm gonna do is to create a box and set the style of the box to styles.root and close it. For styles, we are going to use the styles that we have created in the previous lessons. So at the very beginning of order screen, define styles equal to use styles. And use styles is coming from styles folder. Let's import box from material UI. And inside this box, we're gonna create main box. Here is the main box. And after main box, it's time to create a container, a grid container. This grid, let's import it first, has two columns. The first column is for categories, like this. I just set the MD2. And the second column is for foods. Let's create the other one and set MD to 10. Here is food list. That's the topic of next lesson. What we're gonna do in this lesson is to fill categories from backend in this area. Let's go for it. First of all, we need to create a list because we are going to have a vertical list of data imported from material UI like this. And inside the list, we're gonna make a list item. Here is a list item. Let's import it. Inside list item, define an avatar imported from material UI. And for avatar, set src to let's say slash images slash burgers.jpg. Let's save it and add order screen to app.js. Open app.js. And at this point, define a new route. I just duplicate this one, set it to order the path, and the screen is gonna be order a screen imported from this path here. Save it, and let's run the project. npm start. Open new terminal and npm start to run the project. Click here. Click it in. Aha. Uh -huh. As you see, we have burger category here. That's not what we want to have. We are going to have list of categories from backend. So to implement it, go to order screen. And instead of having a static list item like this, we are going to have a dynamic list. To implement the dynamic list, what we need to do is to create a context for getting categories from backend. Go to the store.js and here the initial state is order, order type is eaten. I'm going to add another state for category list. Category list equal to by default loading is true because at the very beginning of loading order screen page, I'm going to load data from backend. And by having this, let's go to the actions. And in the actions, we are going to define 
list categories function export const list categories it's an async function like this that accept dispatch as a parameter inside this function first of all we need to dispatch category list request like this let's define category list request in constants i just duplicate this and set it to category list request also for success and fail let's implement them success action and fail action go back to actions and import it from constant folder after that create a try catch body and in the catch part we are going to dispatch category list fail and as a payload i pass the error message let's import it great it's time to implement the try part in try part we are going to send an ajax request to backend to get list of categories for this purpose we are going to use axios library let's install axios open a new terminal npm install axios with small a after installing axios it's time to import it at the very beginning of this page import axios and yeah we can use it here the next step is gonna be dispatching another action for successful getting categories from backend it's gonna be like this let's import it from src constants and the important part of this action is the data here the data contains categories array from backend and we set it as a payload for this action by this setting we can go to the store.js and use this data to fill the state let's go for it the first case that i'm going to define in the reducer is case category list request let's import it and the state that we are going to change is in category list and loading to true i don't like to change other states in the context so i use dot 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 state at the very beginning of this object return categories from action.payload and set loading to false let's import category list and the fail scenario the fail scenario is gonna be like this return previous state but in category list set loading to false and set the error message to the error that we have passed in the action let's import it great the store.js will update the state of categories and in the actions.js we have list of categories it's time to use list categories in order screen right after defining style define use effect like this use effect will run list categories at the loading of this component let's import list categories from action and also we need to define dispatch to define dispatch use this line of code from context for the store get state and dispatch let's import use context from react and store from src slash store.js and then this line of code will run list categories and fill the state with the categories from backend to get list of categories from state let's define state.categories and deconstruct this object to categories loading and error we can use loading here in the list if loading data show circular progress let's import it from material ui if there is an error show error message use alert from material ui don't forget to close this let's get rid of this static list item here otherwise create an empty container 
like this and let's import alert from material ui lab great it's time to show list items in this empty container create a map on categories like this and inside map function define this list item set key to category.name and create avatar set source to category.image and alternative text to category.name save it to format your code and before category i'm going to create another list item to show the logo of the project let's import logo from src components slash logo and here is the final view of categories in the order screen to use alert we need to install material ui slash lab copy this and npm install material ui slash lab don't forget to put at sign at the beginning of material ui by running the project you will get this result it says request failed with status code 404 to fix it open package.json and we are going to add a proxy from port 3000 to port 5000 here is the proxy after this change stop all instance of node run the server npm run server first and you should get this message open a new terminal and npm start to run the frontend here is the result we have the icon of project and we have list of categories we can set button attribute for list item for logo and also for list item inside categories to make them like a button define a new props if props dot large then use large logo otherwise use the regular logo get props from logo component here and open style that js duplicate large logo and set height to 50 to create small logo change it to only logo so the logo will be small like this for the home screen and the order screen we are going to make it large find the logo and it's large let's test it again you know as you see the logo here is large here is large and when i go to the order screen the or the logo is small and 50 pixel so what we did in this session is to create list of categories from backend and it shows icons of categories burgers breakfast and beverages here for next lesson we are going to add event to categories and show the foods related to them for the user for next lesson we are going to create an api for returning products from backend and then when user click on categories will see the products in that category that's about this lesson until next lesson bye bye